Hey guys, Mediocre Pie here. Just want to share a uh, really difficult lesson I learned, uh, and that's drilling through hardened steel. Um, I, these two knives here were kind of hastily made in my last batch, the 01, and uh, I got them heat treated before I drilled holes in them. I just didn't have time to do that. So uh, I've been experimenting, trying to find ways to make holes in these, and uh, pretty much everything has failed from carbide uh, deburring bits to drill bits, carbide bits to hardened steel, everything. So um, I went out today and picked up some of these guys, the R2 uh, metal bits. And these things actually have carbide tips and initially I've tr I tried using one a little bit back and the carbide head actually broke off. I think I got a faulty one. But uh, these two have been working out great. Um, so far I did these two holes here and it's just enough so I can attach a handle scale. I don't know if I'm going to make another one here to lighten it up because it's a little bit of a hassle. But uh, pretty much... Uh, every center punch I have is hardened steel, so it doesn't uh, even make a dent here. So I actually had to go and use one of my little uh, carbide deburring bit cones, and I actually went where I wanted to, and just to make a machine a little bit a little dent in there, so that uh, the, my bit wouldn't wander around. At least for the uh, eighth inch bit, it did start to wander around. It just needs a little point to start in. So just want to show you guys how well these bits work. Um, it's actually quite amazing. So, uh, find the center here, spin that backwards, let's clamp this down and get going. So I'm doing a super high speed, about uh, 3100 RPM. And there we go. Two holes drilled in my handle. Uh, they need a little bit of deburring. That's where those carbide deburring bits come in. But absolutely awesome to have that option to, uh, in case you need to draw, drill some hardened steel or something like that. Um, I have not really used these on titanium yet, but I really think that they will work quite well um, since that carbide bit um, went through the this O1, which is at about 61. 62 Rockwell. Um, it had no problem with that. So you can see how fast I went through. Uh, I really, really think these bits are have are going to be really well uh, work really well for just general multi-purpose use making knives. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys have used these bits before. I this is really my first time having that successful use of them. Uh, like I said, that last time I tried using it, the carbide head broke off, so I think it might have just been a little bit of a fluke. But these things are a little bit more expensive. They run about 9 bucks, at least for this one bit. Um, but if they can do this through that steel and that fast, um, I really can't complain. So anyhow, thanks for watching. As always, stay safe.